Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Gabriella. In today's video, I'm drawing a winter landscape in my Paper Chase craft paper sketchbook using crayons and oil pastels. I'm starting out by taping down the paper for a nice frame in the end. This is the same pink tape that I had to replace in the middle of my last video as it had peeled off. It's a very soft tape with a rather weak glue that I don't recommend for wet media, but I think it's fine for oil pastel drawings. Next, I'm going to select my colors and put them in this little ceramic tray. This is a practice that I recommend to avoid using too many colors in your drawing. Your piece is going to be more unified if you stick to a certain color palette. As you can see, I'm selecting both crayons and oil pastels, several brands all together, all with different properties. Also, some are for kids and some are more aimed at students or adults. And that is what's going to lead us to today's discussion that is inspired by some comments that I got recently. In the next couple of minutes, I will do my best trying to use oil pastels properly, whatever that may be. And yeah, let's talk about supplies and how each of them behaves on paper. My preference to use oil pastels is the following. I will typically put down a base layer using Stabilo Woodies because they are opaque, vibrant, blend really well, and altogether make a very good base layer on which even student grade oil pastels look very good. They also come in handy, along with other crayons, in sketchbook art, when you want to make an oil pastel drawing in a sketchbook like this one, because they can easily be sealed with a fixative spray and they don't transfer to the other page. Otherwise, the paper that I'm working on is barely 100 GSM, not ideal for artist-grade oil pastels, because the oil from high-end pastels will typically seep into the paper, and a thin paper like this will get damaged. I don't like to do commissions, but there were some occasions in the past when I did some, typically presents for birthdays, Christmas, or a wedding even. Now that requires a better paper, obviously, and higher end supplies altogether with light fast pigments. But when I just scribble in a sketchbook for fun, I will typically reach for student grade or even kid supplies. Now, I understand that's not everyone's cup of tea. Using cheaper supplies can also be a source of frustration because they tend to really underperform compared to artist grade ones. But personally, I love using them and I just love the charm of waxy crayons in general. They just take me back in time and I just really enjoy the process. Speaking of skills, most of the people I follow on Instagram are oil pastel artists and many of them use student grade pastels. In fact, I often see them use kit supplies even. And honestly, it's impressive when you paint something nice with, let's say, Sennelier, but to me it's even more impressive when you can achieve something beautiful with a set of pastels that has its limitations. It's like, okay, this is going to be very random, but lately I've been really hooked on watching Rainbolt, the uh, pro geoguesser, um, pro Google Maps guy on YouTube, and he's like immensely inspiring to me. If you ever watched the GeoGuessr tournament, you'll know, but anyway, I highly recommend it. And they will set these limitations, like no zooming in, no turning around, they will put a time limit, etc. It's skills. Let's raise the bar. Okay, show me your skills. I want to see hard work. You paint cool pictures with Daniel Smith. Show me what you can do with a limited palette. And then show me what you can paint with a set of Crayola paints. A couple of years ago, I did a Crayola challenge. It was during the London lockdown, to be specific. I went to Tesco and bought a pack of Crayola crayons for about one pound, and I finished entire sketchbook pages using nothing but those crayons, and boy, was it hard. But I had to work around it. I didn't allow myself to cheat. Crayola crayons, nothing else. They did not blend at all, but somehow I made it work. I did some kind of a landscape and I just remember being so proud of it in the end. 
because it was really a challenge and I was glad that I didn't give in. Out of all art mediums, I have most of oil pastels. I have a lot of stuff that you don't see because I don't use them in my videos. I have Sennelier, by the way, and I have Mongeau Gallery, the artist grade Mongeau Gallery. I used them a lot in the past, but in my everyday practice art, I find that they don't really spark joy. What makes me happy is using Stabilo woodies and crayons and like student supplies that smell waxy. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm not sure what you mean when you say use oil pastels properly. I don't know what that means. I feel there's a medium that comes in a zillion different formats with a zillion different properties. The sky is the limit from Crayola crayons to Stanley oil sticks. I've been doing this for five years and yes, there's so much more that I can learn. There's so much more to discover. Yes, I would love to get better, so I practice every day. And I do what I can to encourage others to practice and get better. We are all in this. Twenty twenty four is going to be a big oil pastel comeback for me. I'm working on several videos at the moment and I really want to put out a lot of oil pastel content as well as to perfect my art. Winter is almost over. I'm planning on uploading maybe two more winter themed videos and then I'm switching to spring mode. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Take care and see you next time. Bye!
Thank you.